let's start right at the top, the thing that everybody wants to talk about. So we'll talk about this cold open with uh, CNN, the source with Caitlin Collins. So we've been opening sort of, you know, going into this political talk show stuff, and then it transitions over to the rest of our cold open. But Chloe Feynman is playing Caitlin Collins again. And she's going to send us over to JJ as Trump in doing a construction vest doing uh, one last rally before the election, we get Bo and his JD Vance here. And then after we see that rally, it transitions over to Gaffigan and Andy and Maya watching the TV of the rally in Pennsylvania, talking about their experience in Pennsylvania. Eventually, Dana Carvey does come in as Joe Biden. So we get all of the characters that we saw for the first four episodes of the season. And then our final act of this is that we get Maya alone as Kamala. She says she wishes she could, you know, talk to somebody who knew what she was going through. And then in comes, you know, we just saw it recently with Jennifer Coolidge, but through the mirror, we get to see the real Kamala Harris appear on the show. Someone who's been in her shoes. The crowd goes absolutely nuts. Uh, you know, tells her that she's got this, and we have this nice moment of Maya and Kamala together saying live from New York. So, Victoria, how are you feeling about this momentous cold open we saw tonight? And chat, we would love to take your comments and put them up on screen. I thought it was, it, it was the, it set the tone for the rest of the show for me. It just kept me excited. And I was in a really good mood after that. So I think maybe that's why I think this episode is great. Maybe on a second watch, I'm like, oh, maybe I was just on a, on a high, but I think it presented a few things. One, touching on that orange vest with the orange man, you know, and the whole, you know, the the rally that he did but i really love bo and yang as <laughs> jd vance and depending on tuesday we may see more of that um i wouldn't that would be a perk of of that but um, i also think it showcased what i always think about is what the candidates think of when they watch the others rallies or speeches and whatnot and so i really do like that pov but moment of the of the entire show was the the mirror um i think they do that pretty well at snl i mean they of course have done it with mick jagger they did it with biden not too long ago and now they've done it with kamala harris i think it's a really nice way to get her in and out and make it simple yet punchy and you know i think it was just a delight to see them side by side uh you know uh together i think it's I think it's better that way than what they did with, I think, Kate McKinnon back in 2016 with Hillary Clinton at the bar. Um, Cause Kamala has no time alone. So I think it was a, it was a great in and out for, for her. Yeah. Thomas, I mean, we've seen so many politicians come on to Saturday night live in the past and, you know, do something. Do you feel like SNL met the moment tonight? Yeah. I actually like the, the use of Kamala. Here, I like that they didn't make her stand side by side with Maya and do a straight to camera thing until obviously like the end when she came out and they did the live from New York. But I thought the conceit was was really good. And I don't know how much time they had in advance. Like, I don't know when they heard from Kamala's people that she was going to appear on the show. So I think they made good use of it with the whole mirror thing. It wasn't like Maya was doing the impression then Kamala came out and stood next to her and it was like, oh my God, Kamala's here. And then they did a whole thing. I think I think the conceit was really good. And uh, Kamala has a good sense of humor. And I think uh, I think it was it was really well done. I, I, I enjoyed uh, their use of Kamala. I actually liked the cold open. I mean, regardless what I said in, as my hot take, I, I actually like think the show started off well. I liked the cold open. I liked it too. I liked it in, it sort of felt like the the beginning and the end, I think I liked the most of this. I'll start with the uh, Jaj Trump stuff, which I think to me was the best use of the Trump impression so far through five episodes. I love the turn on this, this impression. It was different from anything I've seen him do in the last couple of years with Trump, where he starts, he goes on and on, does the thing, the random non sequiturs, and then he goes, oh, where the hell am I? This place reeks. I'm running on fumes here. I'm doing crazy things with the microphone. Last time I hated a mic this much, I tried to have him killed Pence. Like he goes on and basically it's almost, it was so good because he got to a point where the facade dropped in the impression. 
And he hasn't done that on SNL through the impression yet. And I think that was such a brilliant choice to do that, to be like, let's now play. And I don't know if there's going to be continuity here, but I love now as you know, through this impression, getting to know the SNL JAJ Trump, this is an impression now of like a guy who is just exhausted of faking it all the time. And I mm -hmm. thought that that was really strong writing. It finally gave me, like, I, I took a step back. I'm like, okay, that was a appointed political message that they gave with that side of that impression. So I felt like that was a really strong start to this cold open. Then we got the cameo parade, which I've been really supportive of this time, but I really felt like, you know, this was all you know, second or third to anything that we've seen prior to it. And it all then led up to this last moment where we were anticipating what was going to be happening with Kamala there. I do feel like they met the moment. Naturally, Kamala is not a comedian. You know, she's not trained for this, but we get some really fun lines of them going back and forth with each other. They're able to sort of break through the impressions and support each other. And again, you don't have to vote Democrat or support Kamala to have enjoyed this moment. I don't think that this was necessarily, they didn't go out and she didn't start giving policy messages or political messages. I know that, you know, these things can get tense and it could be, you know, it's very tough times. But if you just look at it from an SNL perspective, it was really cool to have Maya Rudolph, who's been on the show, on and off the show for 25 years, finally gets to a point where she's doing a impression of a politician that may be the first woman president in the history of the United States. And she gets to have her next to her and say live from New York. Like that was such a fulfilling moment if you've been watching Maya Rudolph on the show since 2000 and rooting her on. So for me, I felt like this cold open had some really interesting points and also was emotionally gratifying. So overall, I think this was a huge success for the show tonight and I'm very happy with it. Yeah. Well, uh, was it just me or was Trump, was James's Trump a little sharper this time? It seemed like he was yeah. more command of the impression than he had been uh, to start the season. I thought he was maybe a little rusty to start the season with well, his Trump. But tonight, it, he was like locked in. It was sharp. Um, he, you're right. There was like that really cool angle of him kind of dropping the facade. But that was part of like the command that I felt that James had tonight of the impression that I didn't quite see in the previous episodes this season. So that was really striking to me. It might be because it may be his last time doing it. Yeah. Yeah. And that, and if that's the case, <laughs> well, if that's the case though, that I don't, regardless of what happens on Tuesday, I, I don't think it's going to be his last time doing it. Right. But <laughs> if, that's, if this is the end of a chapter of him playing this impression, I think it was a great way to go out of this, you know, closing the chapter of this thing. And it was just it different. It felt good. And I, I felt like they that could have been a sketch on its own, what they were doing with the Trump impression. So um, overall, a really exciting night for Saturday Night Live. And, I'm, you know, again, this is one of those nights that I can't wait to go back to in you know five years, 10 years down the road, whatever it is.